Are you Captain Franz? I am. And uh, who's asking? Just call me the messenger. One of your troopers said you were the guy to talk to about these defenses here. Aye. Me and my battalion have been holding these parts for years. What do you want to know about them? What I want to know is will they hold against 500 orange soldiers coming here right now? 500 soldiers? The oranges? Why, why are they coming here? I don't have time to explain everything, but essentially our beach defenses were taken completely by surprise by this new crusade of theirs. They're trying to get to the castle to take over the territory. We need to hold them out for at least 10 minutes here so I can get to the castle and prepare the defenses there. Why wouldn't we just retreat back with you? I'm afraid if you and your men don't hold out here for 10 minutes, then I would be killed, you would be killed, and the castle would be demolished. The only way to do it is if you and your men sacrifice yourselves. Captain Franz thought about this for a moment. Then he thought about his family, and all the people he loved, who could potentially be killed by this orange crusade coming at them. Very well. Me and my men will hold for as long as possible. But our defenses are shoddy. We've just got a couple of sandbags and a couple of pillboxes here with machine guns. I only need 10 minutes, sir. And I'll be good. Thank you, sir. And thank your men for me. Very well. But one thing. What's with the orange helmet? If the oranges really are invading, you could be shot with that. I'd be careful, son. It's from the first of those buggers I ever killed. The Ori shot my best friend in front of me and I stabbed him. Now, sir, we better get going. Hold out for as long as you can. The Red Nation is depending on you. Hey guys, what's going on? Daily Tactics here, back with another episode of Army Men Civil War Season 2. And in recent episodes of Army Men Civil War, the Orange Crusader Army is on an armed pilgrimage heading their way through Red Territory to get to their holy city. Now, the Reds have been completely taken by surprise by this and uh, are just having a terrible time defending against the Oranges. And that's mainly due to this element of surprise. However, a Red Messenger has been sent uh, by Red Generals to the Red Castle Keep in order to tell them that, hey, there's this orange army on the way, we need to prepare defenses. So the orange army has sent forward a large coalition to try and kill that red messenger before he can warn the uh, other reds in the castle keep. Um, however, the red messenger managed to get to this uh, small little outpost in this canyon being commanded by Captain Franz, and Captain Franz is right here and he convinced Captain Franz to do an all-out last stand in this canyon with the 50-man garrison that Captain Franz is leading um, in order for the messenger to retreat back in time and, and buy some time for the Reds to prepare their castle defenses. So, uh, Captain Franz and his 50 soldiers must defend this really shoddy uh, canyon for 10 minutes in order for the messenger to get to the castle defenses. Um, if he does not hold out for 10 minutes, then the oranges uh, will be able to catch the messenger and kill him and the castle defenses will be ill-prepared, but if the messenger manages to make it out, then the red um, defenses will be more prosperous during the battle when that eventually comes. So, there are about 500 orange troopers here attacking the canyon. There are 50 red soldiers defending the canyon, um, but the red soldiers have some choke points that they've set up here with their defenses, and uh, they also have five times the health as the oranges because the reds are essentially the Spartans of the army men world, and therefore they are a lot stronger. Um, which is very cool. So it should be a really interesting battle. Uh, we will have a timer going for 10 minutes to see if the messenger gets away uh, or if Franz and his defenses will be completely destroyed and the messenger will be killed. So if you enjoy the video, be sure to hit the like button. If you want to see Army Men Civil War, be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already and let's get this thing going. Alrighty then boys, we are pressing start right now and the orange troopers should be coming forward. 
I have a timer set on my phone as well, so we will know when the 10 minutes is up and whether or not the reds are victorious or the oranges are victorious. Only about half of the oranges are coming forward initially here. Uh, their jeeps and their uh, second half of their infantry are holding back for now. They'll be coming forward once the battle has really blown up here. Um, but for now, it's just, you know, some orange soldiers marching for Forward with their modern rifles that's of course one of the advantages that the orange crusader faction has is that they have modern weaponry uh, in terms of small arms and then the other advantage that they have is that they are extremely mobile compared to the other nations um, either way here they go marching up to the red defenses here and the reds begin some small chiclet fire coming in and the oranges just explode in fire there this is a good uh, position for the reds in all honesty because uh, they will be able to just spray down this entire group of oranges. They are not spread out at all. So, you know, a grenade over here or just a machine gunner just spraying into them would be highly, highly devastating, though I am not really seeing that happen. I am seeing oranges fall, um, but I think the reds just uh, are not able to get a grip on this position in the very middle here. This is a tough position to hold, to be fair, because it, it can be so easily surrounded by oranges. Either way, we are seeing the reds, you know, put up the defense um, that they're able to here. This is a very sort of Thermopylae type battle. It's like from the movie 300 slash real life, uh, where 300 Spartans held off an army of Persians, except in this term, it's, uh, you know, 50 red Spartan soldiers versus uh, 500 oranges. The center island goes down very, very quickly there. Um, but the flanks are very much so intact, minus a few troopers. Oh, actually, on this flank over here, we have an orange jeep sort of coming up uh, to the defenses. We'll see if it manages to wipe out this position. Red infantry firing at them. He gets the gunner, at least. The driver trying to sort of back out of this situation. Or, or just... <laughs> what is he doing? He's, like, backing into the... <laughs> this guy might have... Uh... Might have been drinking before he took the wheel. That is not okay, sir. What are you doing? Is he just causing a distraction? The engine is busted out of this thing. And there we go. The Reds do end up killing uh, that soldier. That actually uh, amount of fire caught the attention of the rest of the Orange Crusaders over here who are now trying to push in on this left position over here. And uh, the Reds are ready for it. I mean, this is a good choke point over here, unlike the very center defenses, though... Uh, the center defenses will be affecting the flanks because since this uh, position over here has fallen, now the uh, flanks are susceptible to a flank themselves, which is very bad, of course. Um, and still a couple of red soldiers over here on this riverbank, though, but they both get gutted by orange troopers real, real early on. Uh, I suppose there is this defense here as well, but this is not poised to defend over here. I mean, they can turn, but it's supposed to be handling a frontal assault defense. Um, but instead, now it is reserved to flank checking. Let's see how the other flank is doing over here. It looks like it has fallen, but not before taking out a huge amount of orange soldiers. This was one of my favorite flank defenses. I wish we could have seen it more in action here, um, but it does look like it has fallen, sadly. And the oranges are now able to get up onto this hill side and look down onto the reds here uh the reds still have a small little defense alive over here too uh and then of course there are these fellas over here um who are fully in defensive mode and it looks like they've taken out two more of these uh jeeps this one over here getting damaged uh and then another one over here having its crew shot out i mean the jeeps aren't particularly good but um i expected more from them at the very least i think the tank traps are sort of tripping them up because they're not as mobile uh, due to them being just completely in the way here. Um, not to mention, I think it's worth stating that the Reds literally just have to have one trooper alive in order to make it to the 10 minute point. It does not matter what trooper is alive. So if these troopers up here manage to survive for the full 10 minutes before dying, then it is A-OK. -okay. Or if it is um, Franz over here who survives for the full 10 minutes, then that is A-OK -okay as well. Um, by the way, the very back defenses for the Reds starting to emerge into the battle here. They're taking a little bit of 
uh, flak from the oranges, but hopefully they are uh, mounting up a few kills, and it looks like they are. Well done, chaps. This little position over here did end up falling, but that was pretty small and insignificant as it was anyway. It wasn't a great position. We are at the five-minute point, so the Reds are halfway through with their defense. We'll see if they can hold on for another five minutes. Of course, um, over half of their troopers have fallen, which is really really tough in terms of a defense like this where they have to hold out for a certain amount of time um but the orange assault is also slowing down pretty considerably with a lot of their troopers dying um or them just having to deal with these pretty tough choke points in all honesty here um which is just causing them a whole lot of heartache here uh, the very back defense over here did end up losing a machine gunner there, but there is a sniper and an M16 uh, trooper still holding the left flank of this rock. And then the right flank uh, still has all of its troopers left alive as well. For some reason, my dog is barking in the background. I don't think anyone is at the door, but welcome, Olive. I can now put featuring Olive the dog <laughs> in the title of this video. Oh, gotta love Olive. She hasn't been in the background of videos in quite a while. Ooh, there goes the sniper right there. Because I've been in my dorm room, you know, I she lives at home. <laughs> the orange is continuing their uh, massive assault down this plane here. Red soldier on the left flank of this rock, holding them off all on his own, but he does end up falling there. So um, now the oranges are able to sort of push in a little bit more over this way. Um, the right flank now uh, coming into the battle a little bit more. This uh, M16A4 gunner uh, with an ACOG scope is firing away. He's also got an M60 gunner on this little uh, wooden platform here who's also managing to get some good fire out. He's actually firing all the way over here, helping out his red brothers who are in this little pillbox over this way. That's pretty epic. Most of the orange is sort of setting up a base camp over here, I guess, and then sort of launching assaults from over here while also launching assaults from the uh, front over this way. This is really good though because it is buying the um, reds just a ton of time in this battle here um, since the oranges have to deal with these little minute defenses here. Oh, the flank over here is uh, collapsing a little bit. Nice orange grenades going in there. That one rocking that red trooper to his very core and dispersing the rest of these red gunners who are inside here. This guy actually lives from that grenade and manages to stand back up but now the oranges have a good foot hold over here and that could be a major problem the m60 gunner over this way still trying to pepper them but he's got problems of his own it looks like as the oranges have launched a full-on assault of their little rock defense over here and they are um encroaching on the territory over here franz still alive with his nice little cap there gotta love franz my boy um okay so the oranges need to pick up the pace here now because they are at the two minute mark, they have used about three fourths of their time here. Uh, they do manage to get a nice little kill on that red soldier over there. There's only one red soldier in that bunker and he goes down. There's still one on the outside over there um, and then the five up here. But these five should fall rather easily if these flankers manage to to uh, push up all the way, um, but the core defense back here with Franz is still holding very, very steady. They've still got about six troopers over here that I don't imagine will go down in this two minutes. I think it's looking very promising for the Reds to make it to this end time here, but uh, we can't be quite sure yet. All right, more fire coming up uh, the hill from the orange flankers who are now uncontested from this red trooper over here, which is good for them. Um, but will it be enough time? That's the real question. I don't have any doubt that these red defenses will end up falling, but it's just a matter of time if they do, you know? Oh, I love the, the Battle of Thermopylae vibes that I'm getting from this. This is pretty epic. And Uzi Soldier getting very, very close to these defenses. Reds try and grenade, and that is a successful grenade, wiping out those two troopers right there. The orange is still really, really struggling here. We got a little bit of a frontal assault going on with this guy right here. He has a Sterling, no, sorry, an Uzi machine gun. He's getting very, very close. He's choosing to go onto the right side over here in the waterfall, pushing forward. He gets a couple of shots off and then gets uh, domed right there. He was not long for this world. That's that red Spartan energy that we're seeing. Oh, beautiful. That M16 gunner tries coming up as well and gets gunned down too. 
real, real tough. The assault on the back lines over here has uh, seemingly stopped for the time being. I think this M60 machine gunner might have scared him off, or the oranges just chose to focus on this flanking route over here. Um, but I really do think that the reds are going to make it. 15 seconds left for the oranges. We need a Hail Mary right now. Like one big grenade right over there and one big grenade over there would do it, uh, but I don't think they have time to make it happen. I think the Reds are going to manage to get their messenger out of here in time. And there goes the timer. The Oranges have failed in their mission right now. And just at the very end there, they managed to get another kill on these Red Troopers. I'd say we ride out the rest of this battle and watch the final defense here. The Reds can die knowing that they have succeeded in their mission of getting uh, their Red Messenger out of harm's way. And the... Uh, Red Castle will now be warned of the oncoming orange assault here. But they will die for sure here, the uh, the Red Troopers, because this is a last stand. And, uh, I mean, in all honesty, if they can buy the Reds at the castle even more time, that's just bonus. All from here on out is bonus time. The Red Castle only needed the 10 minutes to get the messenger to them, but um, if they can get additional minutes here, then that would be very, very huge. If we look at the minimap right now, uh, blue are the oranges who are attacking, and then red are, of course, the reds. The oranges got really bogged down by this uh, waterfall here. The AI, of course, not known for its pathfinding prowess, um, but they really messed up here. Let's start squatting up these troopers because that is sort of what we do um, when... Um, when we get into these awkward stalemates like this. So we're just squatting these troopers up and not moving them forward on my own. They're moving forward on their own uh, terms here. And it looks like us squatting them up sort of made them march forward a little bit more. It looks like actually a big charge going on right now. Um, and uh, they're, they're heading actually towards this M60 gunner right now um, who is getting suppressed. He loses his helmet right there and he actually gets gunned down. Uh, meanwhile, the rest of Franz's men just have sort of hunting rifles or Mosin Nagant, and they too get gunned down real, real quick there. The oranges all of a sudden have like a rebirth of their of their attack here. Um, the waterfall troopers over here under attack by another one of these 50 cal Willie's jeeps here. Um, they should really try pegging that before its 50 cal becomes available, but they're having to deal with these flankers once more here. Only three troopers, only two troopers left alive over here. Here comes the 50 cal jeep right now. They managed to take it out. There we go. Is there any sort of frontal assault? There's another 50 cal jeep coming in now. And there's only one trooper left alive, a C-15 sniper rifle trooper. Um, he ends up going down. This defense over here was truly an epic one, but it did end up getting destroyed. Franz is still alive over here with, uh, it looks like one SCAR trooper. Actually, two SCAR troopers. That's pretty, that's pretty good. Um, two machine gunners are with him. He, of course, has a Mosin Nagant here. And we'll see if they can uh, do a little bit more damage to the Orange Crusader army. If they do, that is all good. If they don't, then, you know, they, they completed their mission. They got to that 10-minute mark, um, which was beautiful. And then I squatted up the troopers. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I didn't in interfere with the rest of the battle. But you saw them derping in the waterfall. That was, that was derpy as heck, man. We had to squat them up at that point. I'm hoping these guys get at least, you know, 10 or so more kills. That'd be really cool. Except now they're... For some reason, uh, getting suppressed in their post. That's not brilliant. Oh, grenades coming in. Oh, no. Oh, that's a disaster. Wow. Wow, that was horrific. That was a really bad job by Franz right there. Oh, man. All right. Well, the Oranges did, of course, manage to win this battle. Let's check out the losses overall. So, uh, let's see. Red are dead reds and yellow are dead oranges. And as we can see here, the... Oranges took horrific losses. They probably lost 100 or 200 troopers compared to the Reds 50. So, I mean, you know, the Red Spartans did an awesome job here. Just a truly, truly spectacular spectacular job. But um, it was not enough. The Orange might manage to uh, outweigh their defense and pushes through. But the Red Messenger got away, so it was technically a Red victory, but the Oranges can walk away from this knowing that they wiped out these defenses too. 
Really cool battle. I enjoyed it immensely. I really hope you guys did too. Be sure to like the video if you did enjoy. Give me recommendations for what I should do next in the series. Let me know what you thought of the battle itself as well. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And real quick, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for all of the support recently. I feel like it's the holiday season and I should be thanking you guys because you guys have given me the best gift of all the 100k plaque which is sitting right behind me right now um and also just like the joy of being able to run this youtube channel i wouldn't literally wouldn't be able to do it without you guys so thank you so so unbelievably much you are all um just awesome and i i wanted to thank you guys um because i feel like i don't go out of my way to thank you all enough um for everything that you do for me and you do for my channel because this is literally my dream and I know I'm getting sappy and very cliche right now but it's the truth so just in short thank you very much I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you all in the next one peace I hope you guys enjoyed that video be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload thanks so much